I grew up in Brooklyn. My uncle had a recording studio, and he was a very famous engineer at his time. He had the first independent recording studio in New York City. When I was seven, eight years old, I would get on the subway. I would go over every weekend, and I would watch him record big bands, like clean patch chords, and I'd set up chairs, and that's how it all started. I never wanted to do anything else. I didn't want to be president of the United States. I just wanted to be a good recording engineer. I have 18 Grammys that I've won. I have two Grammys that I won for the Latin Grammys. And then I have a Lifetime Achievement Award, a Trustees Grammy. So to all total, there are 21 Grammys in my office. It's an award from your peers, and, and it's, it's the highest honor. And it never gets old, let me tell you. It's, it's, it's always great. On the Ray Charles Genius Loves Company, um, I got a call from John Burke. A bunch of different people were recording and a bunch of different producers were producing. John Burke was kind of the main guy to keep it all together. But he didn't want everybody mixing and, and so it would all be different levels, different this, different that. So he called me and it was all done kind of live as much as possible. I think in general, the artist and Ray sang at the same time and it was so it was so much fun. The sad part about it was he was, he was very sick at the time and he could only work for a couple hours a day and then he would go and lay down and take a nap. It was a great record. It was one of my favorite records to work on. Unfortunately, he died before the Grammys that year. I just, uh, I love what I do. I look forward to working. My father was telling me, do something you love to do and you'll never work a day in your life. And, and it's so true. I just got done working with Paul McCartney and one of the great experiences of my whole career, it just fell into place. Paul came in and before anything else, number one, he's a musician and he just loved hanging out. I mean, he just enjoyed the process. I, it was just incredible. The title of the new Paul McCartney album is called It's Kisses on the Bottom. It's great. I can't wait for you to all hear it. What keeps me fresh is the music. I lie to my wife every day when I tell her I'm going to work. You know, it's playing. I think the most satisfying thing about what I do is that when it's finished and it's out there, we know we're bringing joy to millions of people and, and that millions of people are going to listen to the fruits of our labor. And, and listen to it over and over, especially if it's something really, really good. Music to me is as important as a roof over my head, as food on the table. I don't know what this world would be like without music. Music